water signs. How you guys doing? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to Lionsgate. August 8th and 9th. This is a very strong energy. So I'm doing a reading here for you guys. See what's going on. The weeklies are up for this week, if, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> so if you want a little um, more specificity on your own sign. Also, just know these are general readings, so don't try to shoehorn yourself into every single reading. Feel free to swap around the characters. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Because it's general. All right, so we are, thank you for the likes, subscribes, and shares. Thanks a bunch, you guys. Um, we are moving forward. Jupiter is moving forward. Jupiter going direct on August 11th and moving through this Lionsgate period. Very, very powerful energy, uh, especially when your abundance, when it comes to your abundance and making moves that are going to be um, powerfully abundant for you as you move forward, right? So that's what's going on here. Just a little general information here. Now for water signs, let's see where we go here with you guys. Yeah, land of milk and honey. You got that right. <laughs> Excellent. That's great. Land of milk and honey. Loyal heart. You've gotten this. You've gotten this recently. Loyal heart. Serendipity. There's some luck here. That's really good. That's really, really good. Okay. That just says to me that um, if things have been rough for you recently, somebody comes into your life who is very loyal to you or you are very loyal to them. This could be a brand new person. This is luck coming across your path. You could have met them un unexpectedly. This person. All right, let's see here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have met them rather unexpectedly. Let's see. Ah, itchy note. All right, King of Swords underneath. Ooh, Nine of Cups, Queen of Swords. All right. Ooh, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like there is um, water sign. I feel like you're asking, you guys are having some very direct conversations right now. I feel like there's three people here. You could have met an air sign who you think is very, uh, very much what you want. And now you're feeling stuck in a situation. Cancerian energy moving forward. Page of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Wow. Wow. Okay. Somebody here is putting down the burden of an old situation that has really run its course. Okay. I feel like you, um, you could be moving forward here. This is an air sign that you're connected to. Somebody who feels stuck right now. They are a very abundant. This is a person who I feel like you have a uh, intellectual connection with this person. Okay. I feel like you guys are very um, compatible intellectually. You guys, it's like, I don't know what the word is. You guys tell me below because I don't remember what this word is. But there's a thing about being attracted to someone's brain. You're attracted to this person's brain, okay? And I feel like this is a good person for you, Ten of Cups. Uh, they could be just getting out of a situation that had them um, stuck, or you could be feeling stuck in a situation. Okay, I feel like, so, yeah, healing energy. Strength, overcome, lion's gate. Oh, that's good, okay. Nine of Wands, one more please, Five of Wands. So this is a situation, I feel like this person here is healing through Lionsgate right now, really walking away from a situation that might have been a third party. Oops, here we go. Uh, might have been a third party, really having gone around the barn a lot with this person. You could be just meeting this person or have met this person. All right, they're, you know, they have been struggling with this situation. I feel like you could be moving, uh, Cancerian energy, moving away from a Five of Pentacles situation, something where you're out in the cold. Could be ending a situation that was really not good for you. Um, you guys could be texting. And the need is to put down a burden. So both of you are putting down a burden in different ways, okay? 
one of you is moving away from a, um, a committed relationship that wasn't working anymore. The other one is sort of stuck in a third party and they're walking away from that. The luck here, I like that you have this very intellectual. I don't feel like this is an affair. I don't feel like this is a necessarily, this could be like friends. You could have this person as a friend. Okay, um, where did I do with this? What say you, King of Swords, here? Queen of Wands. Yeah, you find their brain very sexy. <laughs> you find their brain very sexy. Look at this. Hermit and Queen of Wands. Looking at her like, wow. She's just amazingly awesome. Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning. Uh, I see Virgo energy here. Uh, Aries Leo Sag. Um, if you're moving, if water sign, if you're moving away from, um, from a situation that was very, um, cold, I want to say putting down a burden, moving toward 10 of cups. All right. This is really powerful. Ace of cups to the 10 of cups here. So, um, for some of you also, I just want to say this, this is another scenario that you could be involved with someone. You could be married to someone who has a fire sign who wants to have a new beginning with a fire sign. Or you could be just involved with them. I feel like there's financial commitment here though. So you could be living with them or, you know, something like that. And they are looking to that fire sign. They're like, wow, that fire sign's kind of awesome. So this person, if this person is a third party, they're struggling with that third party person right now. So they're very cold in this situation. I feel like you'll be moving on from this person on to find um, twin flame energy. All right. The situation has run its course. All right. And you're, you're going to find new love. I feel like the partner that you're with right now is, is dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, there's something here about, um, there, somebody is connected already. They're texting or talking there's more information that's coming out that leads you to move on. The more information could be financial. Okay. What's the more information here? What's the more information? Temperance, six of pentacles. Yeah. Moving on. New beginning. You just want a new beginning. Fresh start. Absolutely a fresh start. This situation has definitely run its course. I, I feel like you could be, you could be um, in a situation that is making you feel like, wow, I just want to get rid of this. There's nothing about this. So land of milk and honey, serendipity. You could have met this person very, very um, coincidentally. But there is going to be a new beginning. There is going to be a new beginning. All right. So let's keep moving here. Um, uh, sorry, water sign. I like that you're moving on from something because you're getting this a couple of times here. Six of swords and here's your Cancerian chariot energy here. Moving on to ten of cups. So let's see how this unfolds. I know you might have to walk away from something, but you are walking a path toward love. Okay. All right. And it's, it's, it's a lucky thing. There's some kind of luck involved. There's some kind of luck involved. This new person has a loyal heart. Okay. All right. Uh, link is below water sign cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the extended. I'll see you on the other side.